What caused the cracks at Pangea? What caused the Earth to crack? I had a theory one time the asteroids hit the Earth and uh, caused it to crack. And I changed it here today. I got to thinking about it. And I think, well, the inside of the Earth got hot and expanded. And the crust was contracted. And that's what caused the cracks at Pangea. Now, if you want to see this happen, take a water balloon and uh, fill it with water, a little small one, and then uh, hang it on a wire. Roll out a piece of uh, Play-Doh and roll it out real thin with a cup or a glass and then cut little shapes out like footballs. Use about four different colors of Play-Doh and then stick them on to the balloon. And you can kind of wet them and uh, make them four different colors so you can tell them apart and uh, stick them together and uh, best you can. Then take a heat gun and heat it all the way around. This takes about 20 minutes. Then the cracks will start to form in the crust when the water expands. And my balloon busted so I didn't get to uh, go through with the experiment. And here it is folks, this is Pangea. Now this is a real Pangea. How it formed was uh, from rings of protoplanetary nebula. And the rings started out at, at slip points and between these slip points was an eddy current formed and a little tiny earth started to form from that eddy current. But the rings that it formed from was highly rich in uranium. So the inner core of the earth was just a solid ball of uranium. And then on top of that was uh, bismuth and thorium and lead coating. And then our iron uh, was the next ring and it, it made the earth big as it is here at Pangea. Now this is a little nuclear reactor when you put all those elements together and it was supplied its own heat and plants actually grew before the sun. So, so this is how the cracks got in the earth at Pangea. The cracks in the earth is what formed our continents. All the continents fit together on a smaller ball. This is Pangea.